Hi, I'm Megan Buell, and welcome to another edition of our safety segment. Today, I'm with Stephanie Hamby. She is our Wellness Council representative, and she works in the talent management section of our training division here at the Tennessee Highway Patrol. So, Stephanie, thank you for being here. Thank you, you know, for everybody knows Stephanie. Everybody gets her great emails on Wednesdays, and of course, those emails contain helpful information when it comes to wellness. So, mm -hmm. your your good health, eating habits exercise, and just having that overall good health well-being. So tell me a little bit about the Wellness Council, and then I want to talk with you about um, how we can kind of combat the holiday stress. Well, the Wellness Council, uh, there are different uh, divisions across the state. Within our division, we partner up with a lot of the other state agencies, and we send out a lot of information, like you said, about your mental health, your physical health, your nutrition, just different reminders throughout the year of things to be mindful of like diabetes check, mm -hmm. checking your blood sugar, making sure you have plenty of water, and just overall health and well-being. Well, I, I always find what you send out on Wednesdays very, very useful. And, you know, just thinking about how you can change up your daily routines, mm -hmm. you know, just to kind of give yourself a little more energy. Um, and, and I love the one about exercise in your office, mm -hmm. doing things that you can, things you wouldn't think about oh, yeah. in order to, you know, burn a little bit of calories. Mm -hmm. uh, several of the things that I thought was actually pretty interesting is uh, when you go to the copier to make a lot of copies, you can just use a, a ream of paper. Just sit there and lift it, do a couple of reps, and you just get some activity in here and there mm -hmm. anytime you can. I love it. Yeah, I'm going to try that. <laughs> Be standing at the copy you're doing. Yeah, just, just lift the paper, do some <laughs> bicep curls. Um, so, you know, one of the things that we've talked about a lot lately, um, of course, coming down the pike, the holidays. Oh, yeah. And we know how stressful the holidays can be. Mm -hmm. We know that a lot of people are missing loved ones mm -hmm. as well, and that can be a real stressor. Mm -hmm. So give me some tips that we can tell our people here in Tennessee, good things that they can do to combat that holiday stress. Well, with uh, the holiday season coming up, you're going to have fun activities and opportunities to see family and friends, but mm -hmm. you're also going to have a lot of stress mm -hmm. and a lot of exhaustion and being tired. Uh, one of the best things to do is try to find a balance to each and everything, mm -hmm. trying to get everything done, but also enjoying it while you're doing all the work. Sure. And a couple of things to kind of cut back down on your stress is to first, uh, clear out your schedule, mm -hmm. kind of declutter. Yeah. Uh, mark off the things that you don't really have to do and make sure you get done the, the important things first. Mm -hmm. uh, take out the time to schedule days that you need to do your shopping, mm -hmm. days and times that you actually need to go to the grocery store, mm -hmm. and then separate the times that you can actually spend with your family and friends rather than trying to get it all done in one day or done at the last minute. Mm -hmm. um, also, don't overcommit yourself. Yes. Uh, I tend to do that a lot. I can do this, I can do that, I can bring this, I can bake that. You know, just kind of watch your time frame. Also, uh, when you're going out to visit family and friends, if you know there's going to be anxiety or you mm -hmm. know there's going to be family tension, go ahead and schedule yourself and limit your time frame. Like, I'm just going to stay for 30 minutes or I'm just going to stay for an hour and stick to that time frame. That's a smart so tip. That's, that's one good step that you can go about. Mm -hmm. uh, another good thing that uh, you can consider is watching your gift giving budget. That's, that's a very good tip. <laughs> Thinking about your plan, uh, what you can afford, what you can't. Don't sure. overdo yourself. Everybody can't buy for everyone. That's right. Um, if you have a large family, consider uh, drawing names. Everybody talks yeah, about we, drawing we draw names, names or yeah. just buying for the children. Mm -hmm. uh, if you have groups such as friends or coworkers, mm -hmm. plan a luncheon. You don't have to buy gifts for everybody, just everybody get together right? and, you know, chit chat and talk. Uh, or if you want to, um, another good idea that you can either do with family, friends, or coworkers is mm -hmm. do a cookie swap yeah, or a recipe swap uh -huh. and just get everybody together that way. And then everybody can leave with a bag of cookies and something, something yeah. but it's not expensive. I like that. That's a great tip. I, I'm a, a list person mm -hmm. and so for the holidays and I start very early. So coming around Thanksgiving, I start making lists and I, you know, put my list down of the people I'm going to buy for and what I'm going to buy. Mm -hmm. And then I do a food list. <laughs> <laughs> and so I make my list 
of what I'm going to be cooking and then the ingredients. I'm kind of a little OCD, I guess. <laughs> that's probably what you would call that, right? Mm -hmm. That's a stressor in itself. Yes. So, but, um, you know, tell me a little bit about, you know, we, we know that people um, that have lost loved ones mm -hmm. throughout the year, when the holidays come upon us, that's mm -hmm. really tough, especially the first time that they're celebrating the holidays without that loved one. Yes, uh, that's a, a topic that a lot of people have been covering this year mm -hmm. as the holidays get closer and closer. It's very difficult and not only is it difficult for the person that's suffering, mm -hmm. but those around them, they don't know what to do or what sure. to say. So just remember to be patient with others. Mm -hmm. Not everybody handles grief the same way. That's right. And uh, try to just keep an open a uh, train of thought on what they're going through and just giving them the support and mm -hmm. the, the distance that they need. Mm -hmm. and some people when they've lost a loved one don't really want to get out of the house, don't really want to celebrate. You kind of have to ease them back into the holidays one step at a time. You can't mm -hmm. just force all of this attention and large gatherings. It just takes time. Sure. That's great. So tomorrow, Wednesday, mm -hmm. We'll be getting a, a, another great, mm -hmm. another great email, another great email, and let people know where they can find um, this information. A lot of information that they can find is through Here for Tennessee. Okay, it's H E R E, mm -hmm. the number four and T N, and you can either call the eight five five Here for T N. Okay, or go online to www hereforTN.com. Uh, there are advisors that are there 24-7. Okay. Uh, they can talk to you about financial stress, emotional stress, substance abuse. They're available 24-7 and it's completely confidential. That is great. And if somebody has a question, can they reach out to they you? They can reach out to me anytime. Great. Well, Stephanie, thank you for having being on here and having such a great positive attitude and energy because um, you are perfect for this position thank here you. at our department. So thank you very it. much for what you do. All right, thank you.